Are you tired of adding water every day to your aquarium? Or maybe you're just worried about flooding your home with your auto top off. Terrence here again from Neptune Systems to tell you all about our latest product, the ATK, Automatic Top Off Kit. Now, I know many of you are very familiar with this category of aquarium gear, but some aren't. So let me first explain the problem, some of the methods out there that deal with it, and then I'll introduce the ATK. Ever since aquariums were first brought into the home, the chore of daily adding water to your tank to make up for evaporation has been one of the most hated and neglected tasks. In a freshwater tank, it was never a big deal if you missed a few days or even a week your water line was simply a bit lower and maybe a tad unsightly. However, with saltwater aquariums, the situation is far different. Because evaporation only removes H2O out of the aquarium, the concentration of salt and other elements in the tank will go up as more and more evaporation occurs. If the water is not topped off in the aquarium daily, this imbalance creates a less than ideal living environment and even can be harmful to the corals or other animals. This is where an automatic top off, usually called an ATO, enters the scene. And there are many choices out there on the market today. Some people will even go the DIY route. Now while each method or device may work a little differently, the basic concept is that an electronic sensor or mechanical float valve is placed at the desired water level. And then fresh water is added back into the system when it senses that it's fallen below that level. The trouble with automating this process is that if you have a failure on this piece of equipment, it's almost always a catastrophe. If that ATO doesn't shut off when it should, bad things happen. You see, when you add fresh water to a saltwater aquarium, you're diluting it. Adding too much fresh water means that the salinity falls and your animals suffer. If it dilutes too much, everything will die. Sadly, this happens to far too many people. Now as bad as that is, something even worse can happen. If that ATO keeps going, the aquarium will overflow and cause thousands, maybe even tens of thousands of dollars in damage as it destroys your floors and possibly the ceilings of the rooms below. This is why many devices, but certainly not all of them, have some method of backup just in case the primary sensor goes bad. While this is better than no fail safe at all, many still have a potential for disaster due to their single point of failure. Our goal when we set out to make an ATO was to bring to market one that was simple to set up, worked reliably, and was the safest out there because it didn't rely on any single point of failure. So now that you know what an ATO is all about, it's time for me to introduce our newest product, the ATK Automatic Top Off Kit. Right off the bat, I have to tell you how excited I am to announce that the ATK is the very first product from Neptune Systems that can be run completely standalone. That's right, no Apex is necessary to operate the ATK. However, if you connect an Apex to it, you'll unlock even more functionality such as email and text alerts, additional sensors, and much more. And the ATK will work with any Apex model out there today, even the Apex Junior. So here's what you're going to get in the box when you get your ATK. It really consists of just these three main components. First, this is the module that drives the ATK. It's called the FMM, the Fluid Monitoring Module. It monitors all the sensors, tells the pump when to come on and off, and sounds an alarm when something goes wrong. Next is the water level mechanism right here. It's magnetic and made out of high quality acrylic. It holds two optical water level sensors, as well as a mechanical float valve that we'll talk more about later. And the third key component of the ATK is our PMUP utility pump. This 24 volt DC pump is really amazing because unlike other included ATO pumps on the market, this pump is built to last and can pump water vertically up to 14 feet. This means you can store your water a long distance away or even in the basement or a lower floor closet. Now earlier you heard me talk about disasters, so let's talk about disaster prevention. Our number one mission when we set out to make an ATO was to make something with more fail safes than any other product out there. Believe it or not, some ATO systems out on the market today have no fault tolerance at all. 
Most simply have one fail-safe mode, and a couple out there might have two layers of disaster prevention. But nearly all rely on the electronics of the device. The ATK has three separate layers of disaster prevention, with one of them completely independent of all the electronics. We think this makes it the safest ATO on the market today. Let me show you exactly what I mean. Here's our water level mechanism. This magnetic bracket and sensors is easily installed on the filtration area of your aquarium. It will even fit in the back of most all-in-one nano tanks. Oh, and when you get the ATK, it comes just like this. Unlike most others, there's nothing to assemble. No pile of parts and pieces to try to figure out what goes where. No bare wires to connect. It's plug and play and ready to install right out of the box. So how does it all work? Well, this first optical sensor is the one that sits at the normal water level. When the water goes below it, it tells the FMM to add water. The FMM then turns on the PMUP and water is pumped from your reservoir into the tank. When the water level returns to the middle of the sensor, the FMM tells the PMUP to turn off. But what if this sensor should fail? Well, that's exactly why we added this second optical sensor here as a backup. Should that first sensor fail, the water will rise up the second sensor will then tell the FMM to shut off the PMUP. Now when run in standalone mode, this will also set off an audible alarm. If the ATK is connected to an apex, you'll get an email or a text message. Of course, having a backup sensor is nothing new for an ATO device. Quite a few of the most popular ones have a backup sensor of some kind. But it's usually a float switch, which we all know are pretty unreliable. Some ATO devices also have a fixed maximum runtime for the pump built in as another failsafe should this happen. This usually works fairly well, but since aquariums need varying amounts of water, some brands out there are notorious for sounding off false alarms and aggravating their users. Instead of using this fixed time approach, on the ATK we created something we call IQ Fill. IQ Fill analyzes the past run times necessary to top off your aquarium, and then it creates a running average of sorts. With IQ Fill, you get a failsafe that is fine-tuned to be much more personalized for your aquarium and not the false alarms. But we decided to go a step further than that and add yet another layer of protection. Old school protection, if you will. A mechanical float valve. We mounted a float valve to our bracket so that it's positioned above the normal water level that your ATK is maintaining. Now, if the first optical sensor fails, and then the second optical sensor fails, and then for some reason IQ Fill doesn't do what it should, well the water level will rise up to the float valve and it'll stop the flow of water into your aquarium. Put all these fail-safe features together and we feel the ATK is the safest and most reliable ATO on the market today. All right. So now that you've seen the major parts and how it all works, I've got to show you how quick and easy it is to set up the ATK. First, start by installing the adapter fitting on the PMUP and install the tubing into it. Now, remove the tubing nut, push the tubing through, and reinstall it on the elbow. Mount the magnetic water level mechanism in the sump with the middle of the lower sensor as the desired water level. Put the PMUP into your ATO water reservoir or water jug. Install the mounting bracket. Mount the FMM onto the bracket. Plug in the sensor cables. Plug in the PMUP. Plug in the power supply. And that's it! You're done! No buttons to push, no switches to slide, no mounts to adjust. Whenever evaporation brings down the water level below the lower sensor, the ATK will turn on the PMUP and send fresh water to your aquarium. Now if you're connecting the ATK to your Apex, the configuration is simple for that as well. We have a brand new feature in Apex Fusion called Tasks, which will guide you through the setup and do all the device and sensor configuration for you automatically. But wait, there's more! I always wanted to say that. Of course, just making a great ATO wasn't going to be enough for us. We wanted to give even more options to all the control freaks out there. Options that even the ATK standalone users could take advantage of. Now, you may have noticed that the FMM has four sensor ports on it, but the ATK out of the box just uses two of those for its optical sensors. The other two are there for you to use with our optional accessories. Here's how. 
Most people will use the ATK with some sort of water jug or ATO reservoir like this one. Of course, you'll need to refill that reservoir from time to time and you should never let your pump run dry. So, you can purchase a separate optical sensor like this one, mount it in the bottom of the jug or reservoir, and then plug it into port number four. Now when the water level gets too low in your ATO reservoir, the ATK will stop the PMUP and an alarm will sound telling you to refill it. If you have it connected to an Apex, it'll even send you an email or text alert. Now, if you want even more protection against overflows and stray water around your aquarium, you can purchase a leak detection probe like this one and plug it into port number three. Place it at the base of your sump or aquarium stand, and if you get a leak from the aquarium, the ATK will sense it, turn off the PMUP, and sound an alarm. For those of you that do have an Apex, you could even attach one of our flow monitoring sensors like this one to monitor the flow from your return pumps, emergency drain, or maybe one of your media reactors. And remember, one of the really cool things about the ATK is that you can always get an Apex down the road, plug it in, and get even more features as you integrate it into the way you monitor and control your aquarium. Well, after all of that, I hope I've shown you why we think the ATK is poised to be the king of all ATO. Now, I know what you're thinking right now. How much does all this cost? Well, we've put an incredible collection of components into the ATK, and we feel we've created a tremendous value for all our customers with a retail price of under $200 in the USA. Now, if you've made it this far, thank you for watching, and be sure to give us your feedback in the comments below. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel. For now, take care and enjoy those fish.